Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, that's, by the way, Walt, I stole that from Walt Disney. And since we spent a lot of time talking about Disney, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the, um, I hope we have no real ladies here. Sorry, dear. Uh, ladies, uh, sluts, gentlemen, boys and girls, or wannabe sluts, uh, gentlemen and boys and girls. And I hope we have no real gentlemen. So let's, how do I say this? Sluts, one of big pig fuckers, and boys and girls. We've had a hell of a week, actually more than a week, and, the, um, and you've excelled uh, slightly beyond my expectations. Slightly. Uh, but the important thing is you excelled beyond my expectations. And this has been a terrific group, uh, notwithstanding uh, the... Uh, there's always one or two or three characters that make the group different. And I don't need to name the, the one or two characters. Uh, I, I'll let you decide who the third character is. We know for sure. Uh, and uh, it's always great when we have one luminary in uh, Brian Cule Rose. And uh, we were talking uh, after we broke up and uh, the uh, five and a half eight years, more or less, uh, when... Um, he discovered me after I beat on his door like a vagrant homeless person for a few months until he finally would interview me. And uh, the rest is history. And uh, you will be measured by uh, the mentees that you train to be mentors. And uh, I've been at this long enough that I've got a, quite a stable of uh, mentees that are now mentors not the least of which is Brian, who's here with this group, and uh, several others, uh, many, many others. And um, the, uh, it's, it's quite remarkable that um, I wrote a book in 1998, and the third edition of that book is now popular. And uh, I'm an overnight success after 26 and a half years, uh, but the, uh, not everybody um, gains success or notoriety, and more importantly, wealth out of the box. The, uh, we have a few, uh, but uh, most don't. Um, not because the program is so hard, but because life gets in the way. People die, shit happens, divorce, you know, etc. And uh, we can't account for that. Uh, it's not like I've told you many, many countless times, and I've told a jillion and a half bankers, you know, man plans God last. Have you ever seen a business plan fail on paper? The answer is no. <laughs> By definition, they all succeed, and uh, we know why we don't use business plans and why we, um, at the most, use uh, expanded executive summaries. Uh, the, um, we have, we've listened to enough webinars of successful kids uh, to know uh, that it works, but you knew that it worked before you got here, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Uh, you knew that uh, it worked more or less before you even came to the first seminar, otherwise you wouldn't have come to the first seminar. And, the, um, and uh, uh, there's not many guarantees in life, but I can guarantee you one thing, there's no fucking competition. Zero. And the only other uh, people that you can compete against are the kids that are graduate of the, the regular seminar and or this seminar, and uh, the one or two um, oddball kids that are uh, either lucky enough, bright enough to pick it up from the website. But um, to date, I don't know of any billionaires that I didn't touch myself vis-a-vis -vis the uh, first seminar or the hardcore. And um, you've seen some of the results, i.e. Marcus Bauer, who came through here a year ago, December, who's done 23 transactions this past uh, calendar year. Uh, and we've got a number of people that have done you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 17 transactions. And um, the time is right. We are in a perfect storm, and we're in the eye of the perfect storm, and we're riding that wave, and the, the tsunami's getting bigger and bigger. 60, 80, uh, you know, before it's all over, there'll be 300 foot waves, and we're riding on the crest because our system is so fucking simple. We only have one real moving part, and that's motivated seller. That's it. And all the rest, uh, and to the extent that we want to exclude <coughs> commercial banking, it's dead fucking simple. 
uh, because of uh, seller's uh, equity, seller's finance, which uh, translate into seller's equity. <clears throat> and we're doing it in parts of the world that they used to say 10, 15 years ago, uh, that's not possible, i.e. Canada, i.e. Uh, Africa, South Africa, uh, i.e. Australia. Now, I used to think that they said that it wasn't possible because of the lower IQs in those areas. You know, can Canadians, you know, uh, South Africans, and Australians. But I've now uh, been at this long enough that it's not the lower IQ, it's maybe the layback lifestyle. And, but it's being done there amongst many, many other places. And now we've got kids in South America that are, uh, you know, just crushing it. And uh, as long as we have low interest rates or we're within 300 basis points of where we are, this is one man's opinion, and it's a pretty good fucking opinion, is that um, we can continue to crush it. But the real benefit of this program is during the down market. If there's no competition now, there's gonna be zero, minus zero competition in the down market because everybody's gonna be running for the hills. And uh, if we have, now we have to make, let's just say 50 cold calls to find one motivated seller. When everything goes to shit, we're gonna make five phone calls to find a motivated seller. And when people realize that you're doing stuff, and as in Josh's little speech, my name's so-and-so, I'm a principal in so-and-so, and I financed a portfolio, blah, 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 in the last 18 months, the rest is history. The most important thing is your first deal. And in a few of your cases, it's you. And if you can't buy yourself, Something ain't right. If you can't fucking buy yourself. Uh, the bus comes by every three or four hours. You should just throw yourself right under it. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Because I would never want to, such a fine young man like this to, to take his own life. Never. Never. Well, I might make an exception with him, but other, every, <laughs> everybody else. Because it's, um, it's just a slam fucking dunk. And uh, I think it was uh, uh, Doyle who said, well, why wouldn't anybody do this? Or words to that effect. Because nobody's telling you. It's not because the banks don't have the capability. And I've already told you that the, the big investment banks uh, aren't giving this advice because there's virtually no fees associated. And if you were running uh, investment banks, you'd tell your sales force to keep your fucking mouth shut. you tell them not to, you know, uh, to, to uh, share this knowledge. And again, I told you all week, there's at least 100 guys that I know that know how to do what I do, but they're not sharing the information with you because uh, they think that they're, you're stealing their deals. And they've decided, I'm on board, pull up the gangplank. And uh, of course, we have some people in this room that also believe uh, I'm on board, pull up the gangplank. I understand that. But there's plenty of deals around there. and. Uh, the, um, and it seems like a, a couple hundred people a year that I train uh, is a lot, but compared to the bit, millions of deals out there and the uh, tens of billions or even trillions of dollars chasing those deals, uh, you have no competition. Remember, seller's finance, you can do a deal in a matter of you know, hours, uh, really, but days at the very most. And uh, I, I know you're gonna go out there and you're gonna rip, rip their head off. And remember, when you rip the head off and shit down their neck, you have to build up your thigh muscles because you gotta keep their shoulders, their shoulders, and you have to kinda, uh, Tony probably would be good at this, you have to kinda tilt your ass to shit down their neck, you know? Now, you can do, have a sexual experience, but we won't do this on YouTube. You can have, in addition to shitting down their neck, you can have a sexual experience at the same time. And, uh, and, and your brother can keep be balanced, because you're a little older now. You're getting long in the tooth, so you might not be able to balance. Um, and it's true, as you get older, and I'm a lot older than anybody in the room, you tend to lose your balance. But I still have strong enough thighs. Huh? No, no, the shit down your neck. The shit down the neck. But I, I, I want to uh, make a toast to all of you. It's been a special group, and I'm not bullshitting because I don't have to bullshit, I don't have to blow smoke up your ass. Uh, but the uh, uh, combination 
of the uh, people that are notorieties, the people that are just plain obnoxious. I mean, <laughs> uh, you made it a special experience. Thank you very much. And go out and kill them, crush them to QLA fuckers. Cheers. Cheers.